Welcome everyone to the Minimalist Campers and we are at part two of pine pollen picking. So this part here is collecting the pollen from the cones and as you can see here I have all of my pine uh, cones that have been drying so I actually gathered them once so when I came home from my pine pollen collecting on night number one a couple of days ago I actually gathered about all of this pine pollen and I left my cones to dry so that I can collect again and this is what I've been doing so you can see here that even after collecting once it the pine uh, the pine cones are still drying and the, the pollen is still falling out, so I'm collecting again. So what I'm doing here is I have a strainer and I'm just shaking them into my, my container like this, allowing the pollen to fall into my container here. And then these will be done. I think that if, we, if you shake them out or sip them out twice, I think that all of the pine pollen should be out. So here's the last little bit. I'm going to finish this one really quickly and then I'll strain it again into my container, into my mason jar. There you go. Okay, so now I have all this beautiful pine pollen here and I'm going to transfer it into my jar by sifting it again one last time. So you can see here, there's still a little bit of debris in there. Okay, sifting it. And there you go. I don't want to sift it too much because I, I don't want to keep this stuff here. So into the container and you can see that what comes out is a very fine yellow powder. And that's what you want. So I have a little bit more. So this is what I'm collecting a second time. So don't throw your pine cones away after collecting the pine pollen the first time. Let it dry for a couple of days and then you'll get as much as you did the first time. Now I want to give you an idea of what this pine pollen really looks like. The texture of the pine pollen is a little bit like icing sugar. It's very, very fluffy very light and it smells like a mild sweet pine tree. It smells really really good. I've been adding it to my drinks, I've been adding it to the smoothies and it hardly even really tastes. It's very very mild um, but you can have, it just gives it a little, little nice pine flavor. It smells really nice. So hopefully you've been gathering your pine cones. There's still some out in Peace River. I have seen and been collecting more, so I might even go out some more knowing that it's the only time of year that you get to collect them. And also don't forget that once you collect in your pine pollen, you want to keep this in the freezer because the shelf life is not very long. Um, you, can also you can also keep the pine cones in the freezer if you want to keep those. Um, I'm just going to put my powder in the freezer for this year and enjoy my pine pollen for the year. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.